guys, Rockstar Chris here, and I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a Hapage HD PVR 60 video capture device as simply as possible. Now, I bought this about a week and a half ago, and I had a lot of trouble hooking it up and getting it to work properly. I know that's pretty common with Hapage devices. I did have a Hapage HD PVR 2 gaming edition before and it was a little quirky and and not very user friendly as well now uh the instructions in the box are very short and very vague on how to hook it up and actually use the software and get it running and uh i i did go to their website and went to their uh support section and it seemed like they just copied and pasted the uh the very short and vague uh, user manual into uh a uh, Q and A troubleshooting website, and then I called tech support for Hapage, and they seemed like they didn't know much about the uh, device or the problems I was having. And then after that, of course, I went to YouTube, and the people that were showing videos of how to hook it up seemed like they were just following the very short and vague instructions, and it didn't seem like they actually knew how to get it to work. They never showed it actually working. Um, I was following their directions 100% and it still wasn't working on my end. So I'm just going to uh, do a few videos and show how to get it set up. This video is going to be how to hook it up and I should be doing a, another video or two on how to actually use the uh, to get the mic working and use the software and start streaming and all that good stuff. So let's, uh, let's go over here and take a look at the box. Okay guys, the uh, first thing you actually have to do is go online and with the PC that you plan on uh, capturing video on and uh, you need to uh, download Hapog Capture. Um, it's a program that you use for any of these devices to uh, capture a video. They don't include a CD with the HD PVR60, so you do have to download it online. Um, and it's a, uh, I mean, it's just uh, on hapog.com support. Uh, just type in in Google or whatever search engine, just uh, type in hapog capture application or software that should bring it up. So this is the box for the Hapage HD PVR60. Um, I got it for $129.99 plus tax. And of course it, it does look quite a bit different from previous Hapage boxes. It looks really plain Jane. And inside they have a they have the instruction manual which uh, is not very user friendly or long. It's basically just a fold out manual. I'm just going to toss that to the side because it's useless. Okay, so inside the uh, HD PVR box is the HD PVR capture device, the um, HDMI cord, the chat cable, which is not even noted in the instruction manual that it comes with the HD PVR 60 and there's no instructions on at all on how to uh, hook it up So I'm going to show you how to hook that up as well. And then also what's in there is the uh, The cable that this cable which I already have plugged into the USB port in the back of my PC this plugs it this part plugs into the uh, HD PVR and this is what powers it and allows it to share data with your PC so, of course, you are going to need a PC to uh, hook up the HD PVR. You are also going to need an Xbox One, a PS4. Uh, you can also hook it up to an Xbox 360 or a Wii U. Uh, the 360, you, if you hook it up, you might have to um, change the uh, video settings on it. I'm not quite sure how to do that because I no longer have a 360. And the Wii U, uh, it says on their website that you can use this on the Wii U. It doesn't say that in the instructions in the box. And nowhere have I found any 
way how to get it plugged in or hooked up to a Wii U. Um, so I have no clue how to do that because I don't own a Wii U. So um, first off, you are going to have to plug your system into a, the power, okay? And one thing they don't tell you on the uh, Hapage is it only comes with a uh, one HDMI cable. Well, the problem is if you want to hook it up to like a Xbox One or a PS4, you you need two HDMI cables. You would think they would say that on the box somewhere or well, preferably in the box because you're obviously at a computer store and if you don't have another spare HDMI cable, it would be nice to uh, be able to just buy one then and there instead of driving back to the computer store. Um, luckily, I had a spare one, so you need two HDMI cables total. One goes to your system and one goes to your TV. And uh, I assume, uh, I'm just making the assumptions that you have a... a you know, LCD or a plasma TV or something with a HDMI connection. I mean, it is 2018. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sorry if the video is a bit shaky. I'm trying to uh, do this one and it. So you are going to want to plug your first HDMI cable into the HDMI out of your game system. And then you take the other end of that one that's plugged into the HDMI out and you would plug that into the HDMI in, which is right there, of your Hapage HD PVR. Okay, so we have that USB cable plugged in. So it is plugged into the HDMI out of the Xbox or PS4 and it's plugged into the HDMI in of the Hapage uh, video capture device. Okay, next up you are going to want to plug another HDMI cable into the HDMI out of the uh, PVR. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, this is what we have so far. We have a HDMI cable plugged into the HDMI out of the Xbox and into the in port of the HD PVR video capture device. And then we have uh, another HDMI cable plugged into the HDMI out of the video capture device. And that is now plugged into your television. And you can use any HDMI port on your television. It doesn't matter. Just remember which uh, which HDMI port it is, so you can switch to that. Uh, so you can switch to that uh, display or that input, I should say. So that's what we have so far. And like I mentioned earlier, um, I already have this cable uh, plugged into my computer into the uh, USB slot. I like to use the uh, rear USB slots on uh, my computer for important stuff because they tend to uh, not go bad as quickly as the front USB ports which usually uh, get used a lot more and collect dust and sometimes are a bit quirky. So this is the end here after you plug in the USB uh, port onto the PC. This end here is what is going to plug into the HD PVR and power it and allow it to share data with your computer. So let's go ahead and plug that in now and that is going to go right there. Okay, so now that we have all three of those cords hooked up, um, I am going to show you how to plug in the chat cable. So with the chat cable, it, uh, it has three connectors on this chat cable. You can see right here. So this blue connector, which is on the long end, is going to get plugged into your microphone slot, um, which is pink usually on computers. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Uh, right now I'm plugging it into the 
front slot here. Um, my computer's front slot, the, uh, the pink microphone slot, is actually kind of buggy, and I usually have this plugged into the rear, rear slot. Um, it seems to work a lot better, just like the uh, rear USB slots. Now, what you're going to do next is your uh, controller. You are going to take this right here and plug it into your controller audio jack right there where you'd normally plug your headset in and then what you have left is this right here that's where you are going to plug your headset cord in which uh, I don't actually have my headset near me right now but um, you should be able to plug your headset in there and get it working Hey guys, now that we have that all hooked up, I turned on my Xbox and I turned on my TV. I I have a game going right now, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. And let's go over here and open up that software that I told you to download from uh, hapog.com earlier. Okay, so you can see you just have to wait a second and the uh, picture will pop up. There is a delay on this picture compared to what you see on TV. It's about a, a one to two second delay. Um, but basically you are going to have to adjust some options here to uh, get it to record the way you want. I'll go through those options and how to set up your microphone in a video that I should be doing next. Um, that's a whole nother can of worms there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hooked up. It's working. It should be working. I have this, uh, running on a 2010 Windows 7 PC with only four gigs of RAM. And I am able to capture 1080p 60 FPS videos. Um, they do take up quite a bit of memory and storage. Uh, I recorded a video the other day that was an hour long and it was eight gigabytes which is pretty large so I actually turned down the uh, quality of my videos which I'll show you how to do later and I want to just tell you uh, a couple things um, that I figured out which uh, aren't aren't explained by Hapaj at all or by pretty much anyone online when we did hook this uh, HD PVR up the cables you want to hook up the you have to do it in, in uh, order. You do need to download the software first. It just makes it easier. The uh, Hapog HD PVR application. And make sure you plug in both of the HDMI cables into the Hapog device before you plug in the, the USB uh, power plug in the back. Because otherwise you would have to uh, unplug the because that that turns it on and then you would have to power cycle the uh, video capture device after you plugged in the HDMI cables so it's easier just to plug them in first and then plug in the power because if you plug in the HDMI cables after you plug in the power it doesn't recognize them until you power cycle the device and another thing that was a bit quirky was with the uh, chat cable. The uh, chat cables used... Uh, I, I didn't find any way to uh, hook up just my headset with the with my PC to uh, get audio, like uh, commentary, into my uh, videos. I, I For some reason, I had to go through the uh, chat cable because the chat has to go... I mean, your voice from your headset, it, apparently it has to go into the uh, controller first and then into the computer. It can't just go directly into the computer from your console for some reason. I'm not sure why because I did just buy a uh, Blue Snowball microphone and that's uh, USB powered and that works perfectly fine on the, uh, the, uh, mic or the uh, chat and that's plugged directly into my uh, computer so I'm not sure why that was but if you're having trouble hooking up the audio that's probably why so make sure you uh, make sure you uh, 
just mess around with that chat cable and uh it should work it, it's it, like i said they didn't have any instructions for it and if you're having any problems just uh make sure that you uh just try different microphone jacks and make sure you have the uh, correct microphone jack selected as the default on your computer and make sure the uh other uh, microphone devices are disabled. Now, uh, one other thing about the audio is I had to, on the Division, turn down the volume in-game down from 100% to 5% to record audio over the game. The game was so loud, it was drowning out my commentary, All uh, even though I have a decent headset all the way up until I put it down to 5% volume. So uh, the chat cable, it's it's not very loud, even with the uh, volume turned all the way up. For some reason, I'm not sure, uh, with the, the volume turned all the way up on the uh, microphone, I, I'm not sure because... Um, I've honestly I I have no clue it just uh, the way I hooked it up it worked and I just uh, I don't understand if it's my headset or if it's the uh, just the cable or the microphone slot but if you have any problems just uh, fiddle around with it and you should be able to get it to work or uh, check out my next video where I explain how to uh, hook up the microphone and what settings you should uh, put it on. All right, and that's going to be it. Like I said, I'm going to be doing uh, one or two more videos of how to actually uh, mess around with the software. I had some issues with uh, how to record, what settings to select, and how to um, start streaming on their uh, onboard uh, Stream Easy application. Uh, so I'll be going over that in the future. I hope I got your HD PVR 60 working and as always uh, keep on gaming